Hi, my name is Hidayat from La Torre and Dutch Coffee. I'm the director for Southeast Asia office based in Singapore. We are a green bean importer and buyer. What we do is we go to the farms to buy coffees direct from the farmers. Uh, we started off in Sydney, Melbourne, in Australia. We have five offices around the world, China, the US, France and Singapore. We work with roasters and we supply the best of the best coffees. We only carry specialty coffees that's basically with a base of 85 points and above, mainly from South America, Central America and Africa. As you know, there are a lot of types of green beans in the world, but what we specialized uh, in is basically specialty coffee, Arabica, that's, that is of very good quality cup. And to get that, it's not easy to have that consistently and being judged by Q graders, it has to carry that expect in the cup. Like coffees from Africa, there are a lot of natural process, there are a lot of wash process, African process as well. You get a lot more acidity to it. And also the problem with African coffees is, of course, uh, with the economic downturn, with with the cool and all that. So we need to be careful every year. There are ups and downs in terms of pricing and it really depends on the, the current country's situation. As for the other part of the world, let's say Central America have been quite consistent every year. Actually, it's, it, it's improving every year. You get a lot more new varietals coming out, new processing that is coming out from Central America itself. South America, Colombia and Brazil, uh, have always been consistent as they are one of the biggest producers in the world. What's very interesting now, uh, I would say we are also trying to play with processing in the farm level and at the farm level now there are a lot of new varietals that's not, not recorded like it, uh, endosperma, mini geishas which is on experimental stage. Hi, I'm Yang, I'm the roaster from Two Degrees North Coffee Company. Quality green bean to me as a roaster revolves around four major things. The first one would be even screen sizing, even moisture content, the density of the coffee and at the same time low defect counts. If any of these factors are compromised, through roasting you are able to detect different inconsistencies uh, visually at the same time your taste will definitely be compromised as well. As for traceability, as a barista, when I was to speak to my customers, I'm even able to tell them down to the name of the farmer that the coffee that they're drinking. Uh, I trust them that they are able to produce the best out of their ability. Whereas for me as a roaster, I'll roast the best out of my ability of the coffee that they produce. My name is Regina. I am the Singapore Barista Champ 2016. It's a competitor. It's super important to have a relationship with my coffee producer because it isn't just about the competition in the front end of it. It is also the hard work that the producers put in um, that leads to the quality that I'm getting to represent at the stage. Yeah, so I find that really important in the kind of green coffee that I use. On top of which, I feel what's really important is that this coffee should have a story that that I feel passionate about to share with the world. Being in uh, specialty coffee for over 13 years now, I realised that the specialty coffee industry have grown to such an amazing prospect. It's going to be like wine, I would say. Everyone's accepting and appreciating specialty coffee better. This is something that uh, I feel that it's going to grow uh, in a couple of years to come and be much more exciting.